Hello and welcome to our week ahead and uh, over the last few days we've seen much of a continuation from the, the prior week as the uh, the S&P and Nasdaq continued that hot streak. They rallied for eight straight days before Thursday saw a, a reversal as Jay Powell somewhat pushed back, to get, uh, pushed back against that uh, market narrative that we've seen that's been that the, the central banks are done with rate hikes that saw yields retreat quite sharply. We've seen the US 10 year uh, retreat back from around 5% to 4.4% at one point last week and then jumping up again off the back of the Powell comments on Thursday. So signaling that the Fed doesn't think it's necessarily done and that was enough of, of a pushback for the market to read it as such. So looking ahead over the next few days, uh, there's not a huge amount of data out. Uh, there are some earnings from Lex of Alibaba, Walmart, Home Depot, so a bit of a gut check on the US consumer. Uh, but the main thing will be the US CPI numbers, which were just a trifle hotter than expected last time out and uh, looking to see if there's further stabilization, if you like, in terms of the core CPI numbers. So that's remaining pretty steady around that 4% mark, then that would uh, chime with the view that the Fed is saying that really it's not necessarily done with rate hikes and that could just be another uh, headwind for equity markets after a very strong run up as I said over the last few days. So uh, not a huge week ahead but uh, US CPI is a major data point and that's going to be what's driving the market action. Also watch out for some more central bank speakers as they try and layer on thick as to uh, this higher for longer message which they're very much sticking to at the moment. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.